guys, today I'm here with special guest Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> Woo! Hey, how's Hi. it going? Pretty good. Rainbow Rowell is the author of many books. <laughs> We've got Countless. Attachments, Eleanor <laughs> Park, Fangirl, Landline, and the new Carry On. Ooh, Ooh. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thanks for having We're me. We're going to be doing a little Q&A, so let's just dive right on into the let's questions. Okay, the first question I have for you is what was your favorite part about writing a fantasy novel? That you can, like, truly make it up. I'd always written, <clears throat> I'd been a journalist, and I'd always written kind of realistic, contemporary, and I, there was this moment when I was writing about a dragon, and I got very hung up on how dragons work, mm -hmm. and then it occurred to me that dragons are totally make-believe, right. and that was like, the chains just coming off my brain, like, ha, ah, I can make up anything, <laughs> That's you know? awesome. Yeah, there are no rules. No rules at all. Right, except for the ones I make. Yes. So, Carry On it follows Simon and Baz, but if you could explore any of the other characters, which one would you like to like write more about, or like write their own story about? Mm. Well, it's the biggest cast of characters of any of my book. I mean, it has books. It has the most um, narrators as well. Mm -hmm. So, there is a character named Eb the goat herd, mm -hmm. who I really liked. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I kept imagining this rich life for Eb the goat herd right. off screen. You know, like, <laughs> I, like, I'm pretty sure she's dating one of the dryads. And <laughs> That's so, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then also there's a character, Fiona, who is Baz's aunt, mm -hmm. and I would like to maybe write about Fiona. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So if you could spend one day in the world of mages, what would you want to do? Um, I would probably eat. <laughs> eat the food. The food sounds really great, yeah. though. I'd be like, okay, enough magic, are there right. more scones? <laughs> what book would you most likely carry on writing about, like if you oh, could write a sequel? I see what you did there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably <clears throat> either Eleanor and Park or Carry On. Mm -hmm. I mean, with Carry On, I felt like I had really, it was this big, big world, and I'd only really focused it on this one character, Simon Snow, and I kept thinking, like, Oh, I could write more about this corner, what's happening over here. So I could see myself writing, the, especially Baz, I love Baz, right. who's one of the other main characters. So, and then Eleanor and Park, I've always felt, I've always had a second story in mind for them, so maybe. I hope we do get yeah. one one day. Maybe. <laughs> what character do you have the most attachment to? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's keep Slaying coming. over here. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, probably... Baz from Carry On, because mm -hmm. that character is the reason that I wrote Carry On, because oh, wow. I, I created Simon and Baz for my book Fangirl, and it was really Baz's voice that kind of pulled me into Carry On, because I kept thinking, oh, I could write more of that guy, and mm -hmm. I could, I just thought his, his voice made me laugh, right. which doesn't always happen, like, it's hard to make yourself laugh, right. because you're laughing at your own jokes, exactly. but when I'm laughing at Baz, I feel like I'm not laughing at my jokes, okay. I feel like I'm laughing at Baz's <laughs> jokes, which is a very surreal feeling. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. Do you have a fangirl moment that you can share? <laughs> I'm really excited to see what's next. <laughs> um, yes, so the very first time I did, have you heard of LeakyCon? It's GeekyCon yeah, now. Yes. Um, I knew I was going to be on a panel with Lev Grossman. Ooh. Yeah, I was a huge, huge fan of his first book. Oh, well, the whole trilogy, but the, um, the magicians. Right. So um, I knew I was going to meet him, and so I brought my book with me. <laughs> to have him sign. And I thought like, okay, I'm only going to have a couple minutes. So I'm going to have my book signed and then I'm going to get out of there. But then I ended up sitting next to him at dinner and I wasn't prepared. Like oh, no. I, I only had like two minutes of composure, you know. I'm a huge fan of yours, you think you can sign my book? And then I needed an hour and a half of composure and I didn't have it. So I kept talking about things I'd read on his blog. Oh, like, man. like you knew him or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I'd be like, remember that one time on a blog? Or he'd be telling a story and I'd be like, right, you, you wrote about that on your blog. It was so embarrassing. That's so, funny. so then I avoided him yeah, for the, like a like year. Avoided. Yeah, I'd yeah. see him at things and I'd be like, hey. Yeah. Remember me? So if you could pick up a landline and call, oh! and call any of your characters, who would you call and what kind of discussion would you have over the phone? Um, I think I would. The two characters who I sort of worry about the most are Eleanor and Park, mm -hmm. because I think mostly my books end in a place where the characters are in a good, you know, they're in a good place. Yeah. They're kind yeah. of off on a, I feel like those two characters are the most heartbroken. Yes, for sure. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I kind of want to know, like, how are you? Right. Maybe I'm Hanging cold. in there. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Cool. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that ending. Maybe I would call Park and I'd be like, what are the three words? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> As if you don't know what those three words are. Well, <laughs> I know that you wrote the screenplay for Eleanor and Park. Yeah. What was that process like? How different was it from <clears throat> writing a novel? It was, it was really, really hard and different mm -hmm. because it sort of feels like you write the novel and it's working and it's alive and you're mm -hmm. like, great, that's like an alive thing. 
And then to turn it into a screenplay, you have to kind of kill it. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're a beautiful dog. Now I need you to be a cat. So I have to like slaughter <laughs> you right. and then somehow bring you to life as a cat. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so difficult. That sounds very difficult. Yeah, so hard because right. you're like, I made a list of like all the things I thought had to be in there. Right. And then very immediately I was like, nope. Mm -hmm. You just cut, cut, right. cut. And then you realize that you kind of have to invent a little so you can't mm -hmm. you can't even like make it from the existing parts because it's so different right it has to feel different you have to you just have to really knit it together right so I've, i spent a lot of time thinking about like what is the heart mm -hmm. of eleanor park because it can't actually be the plot if mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah, it can't be the sure. exact well, right. anybody who's seen i think for me like like the lord of the rings movies mm -hmm. are a really good example of something where it's like it's got its own soul right exactly um, but yeah, so that was really difficult. I'm still in the process, so I'm okay. still revising. Okay. Cool. We'll see. You know, we'll I don't see. know. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be great. You know, if it happens, I mean, I want to be really optimistic. Right. Exactly. But you never know, know. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If your characters were to have YouTube channels, what kind of YouTube channels would they have? Like, mm. what would they talk about in their videos? Well, I think that's hard because a lot of my characters are introverts. Yeah, that's true. You know, but I think. Sometimes you have like the introvert with a YouTube channel. Yeah, that's me. Is it you? <laughs> yeah, so. for sure. I'm basically LinkedIn from attachments. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So maybe like Eleanor and Park would mm -hmm. have like some sort of show where they like totally criticize things and tore them apart. Right. You know, it would be like yeah. them talking about what sucks about comic books. Yeah. Because sure. they seem to do that. Yeah. Um, like a comic book review channel or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they sit and argue back yes. and forth. That'd be great. And then maybe like Penelope from Carry On would have like an unsolved mysteries. Because she is, you know, like Johnny on the spot about stuff like that. I thought maybe Kath, we should have a fandom. Yeah. But I don't think so. I think she would be like, mm -hmm. don't look at me. Right. You know? Yeah, that's true. Don't look at mm -hmm. me. And then, and then I thought about like Levi from Fangirl. Mm -hmm. um, he would be the guy who's like popping into other people's channels right. all the time. Like, whoa, it's okay. Levi! <laughs> Just making an appearance. Right, exactly. Have you ever had a dream involving any of your characters? And if so, can you share? No. You haven't? Uh, no, really? no, I almost okay. think it happens in a different part of my brain. Right. Like, yeah, yeah no. Stored away somewhere else. No, sometimes I have anxiety dreams about oh, okay. deadlines, but that's oh. different. <laughs> that's very different. <laughs> okay, okay. In Fangirl, Kath has emergency dance parties. Yeah. Do you have emergency dance parties? I do. If so, who is like your artist of choice? It like, is Kanye West. Kanye, like, really? Cats. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and I listen to him when I'm really excited. Right. Like when I'm really excited, it's Touch the Sky mm -hmm. and okay. good things are happening. Right. Um, and then when bad things are happening, it's like, um, I think it's like, we don't care. Like, like you know, like, rrr, rrr. Right. so when I used to work in an office, if I were playing Kanye really loud, they'd be like, oh, is she happy? Is she angry? <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> so there are so many beautiful editions of your books. Oh, thank you. Which mm. cover is your favorite and which edition is your favorite? There are, really. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten so, so lucky. Yeah. Um, probably all-time favorite is there is a UK hardcover of Fangirl. It's out of print now, yeah. I think, but it had Fangirl printed on the outside. Ooh, very nice. Then there was like a poster. Oh yeah, was there a poster inside? Yeah, like, with Levi? Noelle Stevenson's okay. art on yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But then I also love the US Fangirl. Mm -hmm. it came in three different colors. They're like sherbet colors. Right. And yeah. There's a pink one I really like. Mm -hmm. Fan art. Was yeah, I love the fan art inside. The fan art's really good. Yes. And the, the best part about those, mm -hmm. it, do they call that the board of the case? Like, you know, the actual book. The hardback? Yeah, when yeah. you take off the dust jacket. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Like, each edition, each different color has mm -hmm. a different color case. Oh, really? With a different color emboss in Ooh. metallic. Interesting. It's really nice. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's super nice. You lost out on good covers. Yeah, I did. <laughs> if you could pick a song to represent <clears throat> each of your books, which songs would you choose? Mm -hmm. Well, it's difficult. <laughs> that is hard. I do playlists okay, cool. um, for every book. But to boil them down to one, I think Eleanor and Park is probably the easiest because um, there's like a Smith song, There's a Light That Never Goes Out, mm -hmm. which I feel like really fits them. Right. Um, I have to go home and listen to it now. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> and maybe, oh, you know, with Carry On, mm -hmm. do you know the fun song, Carry On? Which one? Uh, carry on. <laughs> no, that, no, not that one. No, I always think about that. That's a good one. I did a playlist and that's on there. Okay. <laughs> and then also there's like Carry On. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. So, so Carry, so on, carry by on by Fun. Okay. And in fact, I put that at the end of the playlist before I'd even written the end. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this is where we're, we're heading for we're this heading emotional so. moment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Landline, there's a really sad song by Greg Laswell mm -hmm. and Ingrid Michaelson called Landline. Ooh. That I suggest you look up. Look okay. <laughs> so where are these playlists at? On your website? They're on Spotify. Spotify? Okay. And they might be. There are links on my website. Okay. I think, but they're definitely on my Spotify right. profile. You can so leave a link down below. <laughs> oh, you're clever. All right. Well, that's all I have to ask. Oh, this so thank fun. you for joining me. I appreciate uh, it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you soon with a new video. Whoosh, later. Whoosh. Oh.
awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. It was really fun. Audience, can we close the door? <laughs> he's had like a thing in his video. He's like, Shh. I go. I've seen he's it. Numb. I've seen it, but I'm trying to. Yeah. 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 Wait, you do, do it. Show me one more time. Okay. We have to, what if we hit our heads? What would the day have been? Do you have a. I keep trying to write it. <laughs> <laughs>